Hello everyone, welcome back to Alan Wake. La gente de Nightingale no quería estar en Bright Falls. Esos pueblos le daban náuseas. Tampoco le gustaban los árboles ni el café. Ahora sabía que había horrores inconcebibles detrás de cada fachada, de cada sonrisa. No quería nada salvo subirse al coche y dar media vuelta, conducir hasta desmayarse o hasta que se acabase la carretera o la bebida. Pero había trabajo por hacer. Debía detener al novelista, a toda costa. So that was a manuscript page I picked up a little while ago. We are on our way to Lover's Peak. We are almost there, I think. See that cable car uh, sign? We're safe from the light. Regain our health. Okay, I think we're supposed to take the cable car here. That's the last. Yeah, we definitely uh, need to get over here. I don't think this is going to be an easy ride. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if something happened midway, guys. Okay. We're on. Sweet. On our way to Lover's Peak without a lover. Hey, yeah. Here we go. What a surprise. Whoa. Holy moly! Rápido, tenemos que movernos. Vienen más. La lámpara que tienes es una mierda. Las bengalas los mantendrán alejados. ¿Usted también los ve? Sí, claro que los veo. Tenemos que movernos. ¿Por qué? <risa> Porque así va la historia. Sí, pero... ¡Muévanse! Perdí el arma allá. Ah, tengo una pistola. No deje de apuntarles con la luz. Me llevó un momento, pero lo reconocí. Estaba en el transportador cuando llegué con Alice. La había estado mirando. Sabía quién era yo. Estábamos en la dirección de Lover's Peak. No podía ser una coincidencia. Era el secuestrador. ¡Vamos, Wake! ¡Más vale que siga! ¡Prepáralos y yo los derribo, Wake! He definitely want to, wants us to follow him. I think he has Alice, too. He's the one who has Alice. Yeah, Lover's Peak. What the? Oh! So we just have the light now. I, I don't have the gun. I can't shoot. I can just uh, use the fuses that he gave me. Well, not the fuses. The flares, of course. What am I calling them fuses for? So far, so good. Oh, we're not done. I thought we were done. All 
Right, good shot. Lover Speak está arriba por la escalera. Usa las bengalas de la caja de emergencia mientras yo me ocupo de esto. Dame la pistola. <risa> Nada que hacer, güey. Es chiste. Dame la pistola. No hay tiempo para tonterías. Deténganos, carajo. Oh, great. We, uh... We still don't have our pistol. He has our pistol still, I think. Gotta use these flares. Try to keep him off him while he opens the door. Easier said than done. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Jeez, man. You're taking forever. Can I have my gun back now? Eso es, Wake. Un poco más. Ahí hay bengalas. Alerta. Pelearemos con ellos mientras sigan viniendo. Deme esa pistola. Ya vienen. Las cosas no son así. Ya, 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 ya. Easy, easy. Gotta put the flares down. Using all my bullets. <laughs> all right, well done. Now give me back my gun. Oh, jeez, more of them. These are like ants. It's getting pretty hectic there. They're they're kind of coming from both sides now. Jeez, man, what the heck? Oh, yep. <laughs> All right. Ya déjese de idioteces. ¿Dónde está mi esposa? Sabía que iba a decir eso. Había leído ese párrafo. Es espléndido como escritor. Felicidades. Usted va a provocar algo glorioso y terrible una vez que haya un apropiado control editorial. ¿Pero de qué carajo se está hablando? ¿Dónde está Alice? Tú me entregarás el manuscrito completo o ella sufrirá mucho. Si la toca... Jeez, this guy's a lunatic. Y quería el manuscrito porque pensaba que poseía poderes mágicos, pero no tenía ningún manuscrito que darte. Tenía que volver con Barry y pensar en qué hacer después. So he thinks he thinks the manuscript is magical, and he wants us to give 
He wants us to give him the complete manuscript or else he'll hurt Alice. That's what I got from that. So Alice is still taken, obviously. This guy was a lunatic. Well, we can see the uh, yellow signs here. That must mean we're on our way to find a, a box with goodies. And here it is. I feel like the game is getting more hectic by the second here. Strange things are happening, obviously. And the enemies are coming thick and fast. So we just have to... Uh, everything is completely dark. <laughs> we only have our trusty light to keep us safe. Now we have our gun back and a couple of flares. Hopefully, we'll be able to stay alive. And where to go? Where to go? I've got no idea at this moment in time. Everything looks the same. We're in the middle of the woods. At least we're picking up uh, some ammo, some flares. And if I'm not mistaken, that is a manuscript page. Let's check this one out. Más de una ocasión, Alice había intentado explicarme lo que era el miedo a la oscuridad. Para ella no se trataba solo de la ausencia de luz, sino de algo más tangible. Era algo que se podía palpar y sentir. O peor, algo con una mente propia. Algo malicioso, algo maligno. Para ella las cosas cambiaban cuando la oscuridad las envolvía. Se convertían en algo más, algo extraño. Y entonces perdían su inocencia. Nunca entendí sus palabras. Hasta entonces... Looks like we have to uh, cross here, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh what the heck? No. <laughs> Don't break, please. Trying to find your way here is like uh, looking for a needle in a haystack. I believe we have to get over here again. Oh, here we go. More baddies. There's something shining on the ground. What is this? Oh, it's a trap. It's a trap. Yeah, let's not step on that. Well, I saw a guy over there and he's... I wonder if that's the guy who uh, took Alice. That we're chasing him. So he's put out traps everywhere. That's wonderful. Another thing to worry about. I thought it was something to pick up. Obviously. Still don't have a clue, a single clue as to where to go. I guess we'll walk up here and just uh, explore a bit. If we get to a dead end, we know that that's probably not the way. <laughs> the fear is that I'll be going in circles before I know it. I somehow feel it's not over here, so try and get out of here again See, there are so many of them here. It must be, uh, this, this is probably the way to go. 
probably showing us the way, these traps. If he's the one who laid them out, then uh, this could be the way. All right, we got some goodies. I'm happy we have our gun back. <laughs> Even though he didn't do a bad job helping us. Or helping himself. Ah, what do I see? On your skip page. Sara no dio importancia a las amenazas legales que había proferido el agente de Wake. Lo dejó marcharse sin discutir, porque había algo en el escritor que no sabía identificar, algo que le recordaba a su padre. No podía concebir que Wake le hubiera hecho algo malo a su esposa. Después pensó en la forma en que fue a ver a Hartman. La irritación que mostró de improviso. Well, there's no way, uh, no way further. I can see some sort of house from over there, but how to reach it? God only knows. I'm like terribly confused as to where to go now. Because I I already came from there, and what would be the point of going uh, going back? But this seems like a dead end. I can see that there's a there's a cabin over there, and how do I reach it? That's the question. I guess my biggest fears have been realized. I am indeed walking in circles. Not sure where to go. Let's try and walk over here. This could in fact be the way. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. The baddies are back. We are definitely on the right path. What is this? Where are they? Oh, 
Oh, thank you very much. Right, quickly dispatched. Getting the hang of this. <laughs> oh, they keep coming. A box we can't open. That's great. Alright, we have gotten over to uh, to something that looks like a safe haven. Oh no. Oh shoot, come on. Oh, we have no life left. Woohoo! Die for Pete's sake! How many bullets can you take? Like a bullet sponge. These guys are really bullet sponges. Let's start this light, please. Oh, yes. Woo! <laughs> Sigh of relief. It's not always nice when you get to an area you can sort of relax. In this game there are very few moments like that. I don't want to get away for too long here. Let's uh, try and uh, look around for a bit. Here we go. Some more uh, ammo. And flares. And a manuscript page. La noche trajo una sucesión de situaciones desesperadas. Estaba exhausto. Me sentía como si me hubieran masticado y escupido. La linterna me pesaba en la mano. Apretar el gatillo era sentir una sacudida de dolor en el brazo. Sin embargo, por fin había salido del bosque y la situación parecía aclararse. Fue entonces cuando oí la motosierra. I spot. A rifle, or well, this would be rifle ammo. Five. I'll take it. I'll take anything at this point. <laughs> Any type of ammo. You give me a rock, I'll throw it at him. There's a whole lot of nothing back here. We need to have a look anyways, you never know. Don't want to miss anything uh, vital, anything important. The obvious way to go is here. That thing is gonna fall. It's an airplane. I 
I think that's the way to go, but I'd like to check out the uh, area with the airplane first. You can see arrows going over here. That must mean there is a box, strong box. We call it a strong box. At least we do when we uh, when we play uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. <laughs> It's pointing up. It's probably up there. We need to get up there though. Just want to check here first before we uh, eventually walk up on top of that plane. See if there's anything we've missed down here. And as usual, it's just a big, big forest with nothing in it. <laughs> Yeah, nothing, uh, nothing of interest. Let's get up that plane. And there's the box. Perfect. We are armed to the teeth. We have three flares, a sh couple of rifle bullets, 18 batteries should keep us well lit. And I believe that is it for this little area. I sense enemies very nearby. Yes, I was right. Oh, they are relentless. Can't even see what I'm doing. Oh. Sweet. But I don't think we're done yet. I think that's just the start. Oh yeah. They always come in two or three groups. And this will be the second group. Out of possibly three. I always jump when I'm <laughs> not supposed to jump. I like jumping for joy. <laughs> oh, you sweet light. We've only got 18 bullets left with one flare. So we're a bit vulnerable. Although there might be something here. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I needed. To get out of this hellhole. There's obviously more of them around. You can hear it from the music. But where they are, I have no clue. 
trying to spot them before they spot me. They usually come up from behind. They stab you in the back with an axe. That's their calling card. Yeah, that's where we're headed. We just need to get over there. I wonder if Alan can swim. <laughs> Probably not that well. Oh, but over here maybe. course. Why am I not surprised? Yeah, yeah. I've used my last flare. Just me and the light now. One left. Right. Goody goody. And I think I think we've made it. Nothing around here, nothing suspicious. No manuscript pages. No thermoses, no bullets, ammo, flares, anything? No. Got ourselves a ladder. Let's see here first. There's no way out here. Looks like the ladder is our only option. And I keep jumping when I'm not supposed to. <laughs> this is why I die so much. Miscalculations. Oh. Oh, jeez. Well, I gotta get off this. How do I get off this? It's not safe at all, is it? Please let let this area be uh, free of enemies. Some ammo, perfect. Oh. Oh, yeah, I need not step on that. There's a lot of wood around here. Let's see if we can't get rid of that black thing on the ground. There we go. Another page. El depósito de troncos estaba hecho un desastre. La oficina modular había caído por el acantilado. El oficial Thornton salió de entre los restos nervioso, respirando con dificultad por el esfuerzo. No hay nadie. Qué raro. ¿No te parece raro? Aburrido, Mulligan profirió una especie de gruñido. Diablo, siempre es raro todo, Thornton. Solo es cuestión de ver con qué tipo de rareza nos enfrentamos esta vez.
some creepy stuff. It's like dark acid or whatever. There seems to be some sort of contraption in the middle here. I think we're supposed to use that one to get up. But how it works, I have no idea. Let's go up as far as we can. Okay. So we push this one off. And the elevator and... No. <laughs> That was, uh, that was a poor attempt. Poor attempt of a jump. But I do believe I'm on the right track. This just got to do with the execution. Is it, has it gone down now? Probably has. Like a makeshift elevator sort of thing. More of this black goo. That is some creepy stuff. Okay, I can't do anything with this anymore. So, I think we have to uh, access that elevator from uh, further up. No, you can't do anything with that. This is when my brain needs to shift from fighting mode into a uh, puzzle mode. Always takes a while. There's nothing more in this room. If I can just jump over there. I'm pretty rubbish at jumping, so I'll probably fall down straight away. Yep. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That is that's like the worst jump ever in the history of jumping. Come on. There we go. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Barry vio como la oscuridad atacaba el centro para turistas, comenzó a darse cuenta. Los hombres a los que Al había disparado no eran pueblerinos rojos. De alguna forma el mundo había cambiado, como un canal que cambia la emisión sin previo aviso. ¿Y crees que estás viendo una comedia cuando en realidad se trata de una película de terror? Cuando los pájaros empezaron a atacar la cabaña, Barry no se sorprendió. Estaba muerto de miedo. Oh, there's a lot of this uh, black stuff around. Couple flares. That could be a sign of things to come. Got ourselves a ladder. Getting further up here. I think we should be at the top very soon. Oh, what's going on here? There's like a big hole in the roof. I just turned around for two seconds. I didn't... I just didn't catch that. Alright, we have... Uh Found our way out of this. Oh, what's this? Oh no, come on. Oh, is this the guy? The darkness. What does that say? The darkness wears her face. Oh, this is... This is just one of these 
Oh, come on! You're like... How many bullets do you take, man? I swear, these guys are bullet sponges. Finally! The darkness wears her face. That is creepy. Are they talking about Alice, perhaps? Where is my wife? Give me back my wife. Yes, thank you. Thirteen. Now this is actually worth something. There's some boxes. I think we might be able to climb these. If there is anything behind. I think that's the way out. Definitely the way out. But we're not leaving this area until we've had a, a real good look around. Oh, what do you know? Las sombras se agitaban y el viento se levantaba a mi paso veloz por el bosque. Sentía que la presencia oscura me observaba. Después la luz de la luna fue tapada por las sombras que corrían por el suelo con violencia, moviéndose con agilidad desmesurada. La oscuridad se cernió sobre los árboles y volvió a disiparse dejando ver a los poseídos. No habían llegado por medios naturales. Can always hear the birds. Get some more ammo. What? Oh, what? They're using lumber against me now. <laughs> these guys, oh, these guys. Get away from me! I might be wasting my rifle bullets here, but... No, oh, no! You're getting too close! Finally! Oh, there's just so many of them. It's like endless. I see a light in the distance. We are very close, but I don't think it's going to be that easy. A couple more uh, flares would be nice. Some ammo. Our ammo is full. One flare. That's good. I'll take it. All right, campgrounds. All 
I'm waiting for in the, uh, one of the attacks again, and I don't think I'm wrong. I'm going to take it real nice and slow here. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, they got chainsaws now. How wonderful. Oh, are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, no. Right, death by chainsaw is imminent, guys. One flare left. I don't think it'll be enough. Oh, no. Get away from me. Oh, crap. Yep. Yeah. Was bound to happen. My first death today came by Kane's chainsaw. <laughs> so, uh, not a nice way to go. But we'll pick this up in the next episode, guys. I'll try and uh, take these guys out then. And uh, you guys stay safe, and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. All right. Bye-bye for now. Bye -bye for now. <laughs>